Okay, and we are live. Catal amigos, Stuart here from Spain Speaks with another live stream, 7.35 p.m. Monday evening, a little bit sick still. I'll see if I can get through the live stream today, get through the news, we'll see. I pre-recorded some of it, so it should be okay. So we'll see how we go with the live stream today. Now, we're going to have a look at some of the main stories that have caught my attention We'll also go into the comment section, check out what is happening there too. And uh, in the second half of the video, we'll go into the live uh, chat and check out what is happening there too. But as I said, I pre-recorded so to uh, so as to save my voice. And if there's any problems, let me know in the chat section if you can't hear things well or uh, if there's any technical problems uh, at uh, your end, let me know in the chat section. But hopefully things will run smoothly. So we'll see. Now, before I begin, I'll put the little like icon on the screen. Here it is here. If you haven't hit the like icon yet, please do so just below the video. And we'll see if we can get up to a decent tally of likes today. So hit that like button, please. Now, the first piece of news that we have here, polls are showing who the uh, person that might win the elections come July the 23rd, I think it is. And uh, this piece of news here is leading the stories today. As we can see, I'll just uh, line it up. Okay, so back here now. Now, I'm not sure whether the sound is working, so uh, let me know if it is. There might be a technical problem today with the sound. I'll rely on the chat uh, if you can. Tell me in the chat and uh, let me know what is happening there. We can't hear you suddenly. No audio. I thought that was the issue. So I'll uh, try to fix that, which means that I'm going to have to uh, read the news from now on. So as I said, if my voice goes, hopefully not. But as we saw there in that piece of news, Spain's Conservative PP party widening its lead ahead of national election polls show. But uh, also they will most likely have to go into coalition with the party Vox, most likely. But thanks for letting me know that the sound is not working. Technical glitch at this end. Second piece of news, Feijó announces his first measures if he governs, lower taxes and revision of laws passed with Bildu. The leader of the PP and candidate for the general elections, Alberto Núñez Feijó, has advanced this Monday a decalogue of the first measures he will approve if he reaches government after the general elections on the 23rd of July. Less taxes, reducing the number of ministries and reviewing every measure in which Bildu's vote was decisive in the last legislature are some of the first decisions he has announced. The Bildu vote is not going to serve for anything in our country unless it is in line with the Constitution, Fejo assured at the informative breakfast attended by the president of the community of Madrid, Isabel Díaz Ayuso, and the candidates for the presidency of the region of Murcia and La Rioja, Fernando López Miras and Gonzalo Capillán. Also present were a good part of the national leadership of the PP and the mayor of the capital, José Luis Martínez Almeida. So Feijó on the front foot saying that he's going to lower taxes and revise some of the laws that were passed by Pedro Sánchez and company with the political group from the Basque country, Bill Du. And uh, some of those laws were considered quite controversial by a lot of people here in Spain. Also some laws that were passed with the Catalonian separatists as well. Uh, Bill Du, one of the more radical parties in the, ba in the Basque country and of course the ERC in Catalonia also a little bit radical and Mr. Fejo promising speaking to his electorate I think uh, and uh, saying that perhaps some of those laws will be revoked. Next piece of news this one here 45% 45 of people living in rented accommodation are at risk of poverty in Spain an EU record. Four out of every 10 people living in rented accommodation in Spain, excluding those paying subsidised below market rent, are at risk of poverty or social exclusion, according to Eurostat data released last week, making Spain the country with the highest percentage in the whole of the European Union. In no other country on the old continent is there such a high proportion of people renting who are at risk of poverty or exclusion, that is, who have a disposable income of less than €9,500 a year, 60% of the national median disposable income after transfer, transfers, or who work only 20% of their potential 
working time or less. So another statistic that doesn't paint Spain in a great light here, 45% of people living in rented accommodation at risk of poverty. Pretty uh, damning statistics there. And uh, I imagine that's because uh, rents are high and a lot of people are having to pay a lot more than the recommended 30% of your average uh, salary should go on rent. That's what the experts say. But obviously with high rent prices at the moment, people paying more and putting themselves at risk of exclusion as we saw there. And the final piece of news, the AEMET, the Weather Bureau here in Spain, warns of an intense and extended warm spell over the weekend. The week begins as the previous one ended with showers and storms until Wednesday in the north and east of the peninsula, says Ruben del Campo, spokesman for the AEMET. This unstable weather due to the influence of an area of low pressure in the Atlantic will be the prelude to a rise in thermometers from Thursday due to the arrival of an anticyclone which will wipe storms off the map. For the time being, AEMET describes it as an important warm spell which will last from the weekend until the first days of the following week, but warns that it could become the first heat wave of the summer if the required thresholds of intensity, duration are and extent are exceeded, although it's still too early to tell. So there we go. The hot weather just around the corner. And we've been waiting for it, let's be honest. Last year at this time, very, very hot here in Spain. I think we'd already had uh, two heat waves by this time and uh, very hot nights. And apparently the hot weather that is going to come, according to uh, what some of my neighbours have said recently, is going to uh, be very, very hot and perhaps hotter than last summer. So we'll wait and see. At the moment, quite, quite uh, cloudy, quite stormy. Temperatures in the mid-30s, but very, very humid. But uh, next week, no doubt, we'll get that hot, dry weather, at least here in Madrid, where it is uh, very hot and dry normally in summer. So we'll wait and see. Now, hopefully the sound's working. You can guys can hear me well. I think that is the case. Uh, sound good now, says Rosemary. Thank you very much, Rosemary, for uh, pointing that out. I'll come back to the chat in a minute. The first uh, comment that was left on a video, I think on yesterday's video, we had a British representative, Bill Anderson, in Mijas, who worked hard for the expat community, but the expats were too lethargic to vote for him in the local elections, so sadly he lost his position, says Bertie. Yeah, we saw this yesterday, a British gentleman in Mallorca, I think it was, who has been elected mayor of his local town, San Juan, I think, is the name of the town. Congratulations to that person. Well done. Uh, not the first British person to be elected as mayor here, obviously with, uh, with big expat populations. Uh, there have been others in the past, one or two, not many. But uh, Mallorca, uh, having uh, 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 in the last elections, let's say, uh, a British person elected as mayor. So, as I said, well done. Another comment here. Uh, well, we saw that one from Bertie. Let me have a look at this one here. From Peter. Heading to Porto on Tuesday, first time for us. Thanks, Peter, for the comment. And uh, I will say that you will enjoy uh, Porto. They're in the north of Portugal. Providing that the weather is good, you should enjoy it. A very enjoyable city. Some people think, well, Porto doesn't look very attractive. But uh, believe me, uh, it is and a very, very popular tourist destination and uh, lots of people impressed by what they have seen in the city of Porto. Now, my voice is uh, starting to break. Hopefully, I'll be able to get through. We'll see. Another comment here from James. A redressing after the beach. My first visit to Spain in 1972, Lloret de Mar. Our hotel was across the road from the beach, and on one occasion I walked across the road just wearing football-type shorts and flip-flops, but no shirt. I was stopped by a policeman at gunpoint and ordered to put on my shirt before proceeding to cross. Thanks, James, for the comment, and thanks for sharing your experience of Spain back in the 1970s, where police were probably a little bit more aggressive than they are nowadays, telling you at gunpoint to put your shirt on. Nowadays, police... I don't think we'll uh, 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 pull a gun on you, I don't think, unless you've done something uh, seriously wrong. But for not wearing a shirt, no, they won't pull a gun nowadays. 
the police here have a fairly passive uh, relationship with the with the general population. They try to keep out of people's way, unless, uh, of course, as I said, you do something seriously wrong. But uh, otherwise, uh, just for walking around semi-naked, uh, they'll probably give you a fine, tell you to put your shirt on, but they uh, won't pull their gun out of the holster, I don't think. So thanks uh, for that one. Another one here from uh, Gabrielle. You are only as old as you feel. I'm turning 60 this year and I don't feel that in my mind, but my, mu- but my body reminds me constantly that it can't do the work anymore that it used to. Uh, and it's really sad that, the young, uh, that young people leaving rubbish everywhere, if parents don't teach them, uh, then that's what you get. Like Einstein used to say, this generation is going to be a bunch of idiots. Yeah, I didn't know uh, Einstein said that. Thanks, Gabrielle, for pointing it out. And uh, related to the rubbish that was all over the place after a festival the other day. I've got no problems if there's rubbish on the festival site, but the problem is the parks that surround the festivals where people like to go and walk their dogs and take the kids and have a run on the grass, full of rubbish. Because uh, the uh, the uh, festival generation, mostly young, don't respect their environment, and uh, that's an issue. And as far as uh, me fe- feeling old, which is what I said the other day on Saturday's video, I agree with uh, Gabriel there. Uh, you're only as old as you feel, turning 60. In our minds, we don't feel uh, 60 or uh, mid-50s in my case, but uh, the body does start to slow down. And uh, you try to do some things that you used to do before quite easily, and the body says, no, no, no. But thanks, Gabriel, for that. Another comment here from uh, Helen. To me, it's clear that you should dress for the area you are in. At home, would you go to Tesco in bathing dress or McDonald's? Thanks, Helen, for that. And uh, again, related to people uh, wearing their beach kit well into the uh, centre of town, not respecting the local dress laws. Not really laws, but people want you to put a shirt and some pants on if you are going to go into the centre of town. We saw the three German tourists the other day walking around uh, in their bathing suits, very scant bathing suits at that, and uh, locals complaining that uh, not uh, adhering to dress standards, let's say, in Mallorca. And uh, Helen pointing out there that, would you go to McDonald's in your bikini or your wet bathers? Don't know, but uh, I was recently in Tenerife and a place called La Playa de los Cristianos, I think it was, somewhere like that, or maybe La Playa de las Americas, and there was a McDonald's literally 50 metres from the water. So I imagine that people uh, roll in there with their wet bathers and wet uh, um, bikinis on and uh, order their Big Macs and their thick shakes and their fries. How close the uh, McDonald's is to the beach. Now, there's a storm happening outside. Hopefully, I've got the window open because it's quite hot, so hopefully the uh, sound of the storm won't affect the broadcast today. Another comment here from uh, Coffer. I thought you made yourself a citizen of Spain for some reason. Could, uh, could you become one if you wanted to? You've been living in Spain for quite some time now, says Coffer. Uh, Coffer, the simple answer to this is that, yes, I could become a Spanish citizen if I... We're willing to go through the procedure, uh, citizenship test. I think I would have to take a language test as well. I think they ask for a A2 level, uh, which is not high, pre-intermediate level of Spanish. Shouldn't have a problem with that. But maybe when it comes to some of the other questions on the Constitution, on Spanish culture, way of life, don't know whether I would pass. I would have to study. And if you live in Spain for 10 years, which is my case, and I'm sure the majority of people watching here today, unless your wife is um, uh, Spanish, maybe you can get it quicker. But for the rest of us, normal residents, 10 years is the period of time that you have to be living here in order to be able to apply. And it's not as if you apply and they automatically give it to you. There's, uh, you know, it's not an easy process, I don't think, to get. But uh, as I said, the simple answer there, uh, Coffer, is that yes, I could. But no, I have not applied to become a Spanish citizen. And also, I don't want to renounce my uh, Australian one, which uh, Spain forces people to do. But we've spoken about that uh, uh, a lot on the channel over the years. Uh, But basically, that's what uh, happens. Spain doesn't recognize dual citizenship with other countries, except some South American ones, I believe. And the final comment here from Dini Jawa. 
34 degrees is a beautiful day. Oh my God, no thanks, 21, 22 is my limit. Well, here in Spain, 21 or 22 degrees, you will not find in many places. Maybe at the top of a mountain you could find 21 or 22 in the middle of summer. But everywhere, everywhere else in the uh, high 20s, uh, low 30s, and even more. So uh, I don't think Din and Joa would be in luck here in Spain. And 34 for me is a bearable day still. Any higher than that, I start to complain. It gets a little bit uh, hot and sticky. But 34 is okay. And when you come from Perth, 34 is a pretty average summer's day too. But anything hotter is uh, a little bit uncomfortable for me at least. Let me know what you guys think in the chat section or the comment section below. What your limits are when it comes to the heat. Now I'm going to go into the uh, chat section now. I'm going to put the like icon on the screen. If you haven't hit it yet, please do so just below the video. We'll see if we can get a decent tally. Cur currently at six, oh, 72. So we'll see if we can get 73, 74 today. Maybe even more, but you could be number 73, 74 if you hit that like button now. I'm going to change the backdrop. Now, I put this one on the screen yesterday, and I didn't say who it was from, I don't think. It was from Jeff, who sent in a picture of Calpe. So I'll say thanks, Jeff, for the picture. I'll leave it up here for a few minutes more, considering that we got cut short yesterday because of my ill health. Uh, I'll leave this one up a little bit longer today. And uh, if you've got a similar picture that you would like to see on the backdrop, this is the email address or anything else that you would like uh, to point my attention to. I've had about three or four emails today with some very interesting information. Thanks for that. Uh, expropriation of lands in Granada because of uh, solar energy farms. Uh, somebody also sent through something about uh, uh, dam levels. Some parts of the country still low, 27%. So not only pictures, but anything that you think we would find interesting uh, here on the channel for the community, send it through to this address here, spainspeaks at gmail.com. Now, into the chat section I go. Let's have a look what's bubbling away there today. Let me see if I can get to the top. Andrew's the first one in, uh, wishing uh, us all uh, a good evening and hoping that we are well. Uh, I'm okay today. I hope everyone else is well. Still got a bit of a cold, not going to lie. Still a little bit uh, congested, a little bit of uh, nasal congestion going on, as you can hear. And a bit of a tickly throat. Uh, I feel like uh, I need to cough, but I'm trying to hold off. If uh, all of a sudden you see uh, an image on the screen and no sound, it's because I'm coughing, okay? I'll put that out there now, but uh, you never know if I'm going to need to cough, basically. So uh, I'll uh, put that out there now. Uh, John, not sunny in downtown San Diego. Uh, no, the weather has, seems to have not to not be good in that part of uh, the USA. Barbara coming in from the Playa Flamenca. Hope that I'm feeling a bit better. Yes, uh, Barbara, I am. Rather hot, another hot day in Playa Flamenca, temperature of 31. What's your limit, Barbara? 31 okay for you? A little bit hotter, a little bit uh, cooler? Let us know. Philip coming in as well from La Trinidad in Malaga, hoping also that I'm better. Yes, pleasantly surprised by my Spanish dentist. Excellent service and a lot cheaper. Thank you very much, Philip, for that. I had a comment uh, also left in the chat section yesterday that I didn't get around to seeing because it was uh, sort of down the end when I cut the live stream short. And it was this one here from Carrie asking about the ITV. Apparently there's a bit of a, a backlog in the Valencian community, I think, in La Nufia, if anybody knows anything about it. Uh, Carrie saying that it's uh, six weeks to wait for an appointment to get your car revision done at the ITV, MOT. Uh, let's uh, see if we can get some feedback for Carrie if that is normal or whether it's just one in particular. I did my uh, ITV here in Madrid recently and I think you can do it in any autonomous community. You don't have to do it in Valencia. So maybe if you pop into uh, Murcia maybe or if you're in um, you know another uh, uh, city, pop in and do it. You might be able to get an appointment online quicker than six weeks because that seems a little bit long, Carrie, in my opinion. I got my appointment uh, literally the next day. So I think that should be the case as well. 
So let us know, anybody, what the ITV situation is like in the Valencian community. Jonathan coming in from Valencia too. Hello, Jonathan. Hope you're well. Ross also coming in from Valencia, watching uh, the live stream today. Erica, hope I'm feeling better. Yeah, a little bit better, uh, Erica. Better than um, I was yesterday. Had to cut the live stream short, of course. Today, I'll see how we go. Maybe get a, a few more minutes uh, out of me. Uh, not sure, but uh, hopefully. And uh, again tomorrow, we'll see. You never know uh, what's going on with these uh, colds and flus and all of these things that are flying around at the moment. This is uh, thanks to my son who was sick last week. So I'll say thank you uh, for that, passing it on to me. Uh, but hopefully it stops here. Renan coming in from Los Angeles in California. Uh, a sunny day there today. Elaine coming in from Chatham, New Jersey. Uh, looking forward to playing golf in Ciudad Real. Heading to Madrid on Friday. Good one, uh, Elaine. Hope all is well. Hope you enjoy your game of golf in Val de Peñas. Babs coming in from Wales. Janet also coming in from Oxford. Uh, summer colds are the worst. Yes. Tell me about it, uh, John. Terrible. Terrible. Yesterday I was sweating. Terrible day. Uh, Shangyan is in Shanghai. And not Ballarat uh, anymore. Uh, made the uh, move to China. Good to see you in the chat as well. Alan in uh, West Cork, back in El Puerto, or was in uh, West Cork, back in El Puerto de Santa Maria, telling me that there was no audio, but that's uh, fixed. Thank you very much. Uh, sound now, sound now. Uh, trust I'm feeling better. Panama hat, thank you very much for that. I am feeling uh, better. Uh, sound's gone. Yeah, hopefully that's uh, fixed. Gigi's in the chat on the uh, Camino de Santiago. Via Franca del Pierzo. Wonderful thunderstorm. Loving the evening entertainment. Thanks, uh, Gigi, for tuning in again. Hope you are enjoying the Bierzo area of Spain. One of my favourites. One of my favourites. David coming in from Northern Ireland. Off to Ben Almadena next, oh, next Wednesday or this Wednesday. Off to Ben Almadena. Hope you enjoy down there, David. Hope the weather turns it on for you. Daryl's in the chat as well. City fan. Uh, hello, everyone. Sound is back, says Kevin. Thank you very much, Kevin, for that. Uh, Mug is in the chat too. Uh, Rosemary, Rosemary here as well. Uh, what else? No sound for a few seconds, says Rick. Thanks, Rick, for pointing that out. I think it's all fixed now. Daryl saying that uh, rental flats in Barcelona are ridiculous. Uh, rooms are also getting this way. So many greedy people. Uh, the rental market, something that they've never got right here for whatever reason. Uh, probably due to government intervention back in the 1970s, I think, or, or earlier. And uh, they've never really recovered from that, I don't think. And uh, lots of um, unscrupulous people in that market, unfortunately, here in Spain. I remember once when I was looking for a place to live, place to rent, some of the places I saw were sub-standard accommodation. I wouldn't let um, my worst enemy... Uh, rent the flat, and yet they were, you know, trying to uh, charge big bucks for terrible accommodation. Absolute shame that the rental market is not better. Uh, let's have a look. Kev, the um, Argonaut is here. Uh, before the election, we are promised the moon on a stick. Then they get in and just give us the stick. Probably, uh, Kev, probably that will happen again. Uh, no faith in politicians. All I want is good government. That's uh, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I don't care if they're on the left or on the right. Good government is all I want. Good decisions that uh, people benefit from. Grant's in the chat as well. Old guy doing stuff. Uh, greetings from Seattle. Sky River's on the weather menu for my area. When it rains, it really pours. Yeah, that uh, seems to be the way... This uh, summer or this uh, spring with the rain? Absolutely. What else we got going on here? Let's have a look. Uh, one, two, three, Sean away also in the chat saying hello to everyone. Evening all. Um, Daryl doesn't agree with the word expat. Expatriate doesn't agree with. Uh, we should be called immigrants. I think uh, technically uh, we are immigrants, uh, Daryl. 
expatriate is a word that um, people like to use because uh, immigrant sounds a little bit negative sometimes, I think. So they, they like to use the word expatriado. Uh, Jose Antonio coming in from Theo Real a bit late today. No problem. Gargle with warm water and salt. Yeah, lots of people uh, leaving advice uh, on the channel recently. Thank you very much for that. I, uh, I'll try some of these uh, remedies. Uh, Ed's in the chat as well. Hot and blustery, 27 degrees. Heidi, as the saying goes, antes de meter, todo prometer, una vez metido, nada prometido. Thanks, Heidi, for that Spanish saying as far as politics is uh, concerned. Madrid correspondent Dave's in the chat, coming in from northern Salamanca Barrio in Madrid, doing some research on the Picos de Europa for a summer vacation. Good one, Dave. I think you'll enjoy up there in the Picos. There's a nice parador that we've seen uh, some pictures of. I think you will enjoy it. Maureen's in the chat as well, laughing. Uh, Ed's uh, just turned 59, crept up... Uh, uh, behind him and kicked him in the backside on Saturday. Agree with everything I say, but loads of PMA. Thanks, Ed, for that. What else? How does Mia cope with the thunder? Not well when it's loud thunder, as well as uh, firecrackers. Heidi, she doesn't like it. She uh, hides under a table uh, normally when there uh, when the the uh, thunder is around. Uh, Philip coming in from uh, sunny London. Glad to see that the cold is on the way out. Hopefully, Philip, it is on the way out. Hopefully. Now, I'm going to change the backdrop. I think um, this one was sent in. I don't know if it's the same Philip, but this one was sent in from uh, uh, a Philip who was in Fregiliana. And this is the backdrop here. A nice uh, rooftop shot of the coast from Fregiliana down there in Malaga. I think uh, if you look at the coast from there, Nerja, I think, is the uh, coastal town. Thanks, Philip, for sending that one in. And the email address is this here, spainspeaks at gmail.com. So uh, send them through, please, to that address. Back into the chat I go. Um, Ronnie's saying, sorry, no sound. Still no sound? Don't know. Sound okay for Daryl. Uh, Spain granted dual citizenship to descendants of uh, Sephardis. Yeah, I think that is the case. I, uh, uh, we have a few people that watch that have been uh, or have got citizenship through that, um, um, through that way. Absolutely. Uh, Jose Antonio saying above 35 is not uh, el calor but la calor. There we go. So above 35. Lovely photo, says Shomin Bailey. Thanks for that. 34 yesterday, uh, uh, where Chrissy was. Today, 24. A 10 degree drop, but you're noticing that. Uh, what else? Let's have a look. Let's have a look here quickly. Uh, Alberto, been going to Spain since uh, 1983. In the summer and other times. I've never seen a summer when it was not hot, 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 as they say here. As banano, nothing to see here. Thanks, Alberto, for that. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, you might not have been here last year when it was extremely hot. And uh, I've been living here for 25 years almost. And last year was the hottest summer that I've experienced. And I'm sure people that are living here would uh, agree with me. It's hot every summer, of course. It's summer. But there is a difference sometimes when it is uh, unbearably hot, especially at night. And uh, as I said, last year was indeed that way. Thanks for your input, Albert, though. Nothing to see here. What else we got going on? Jose Antonio, good wines in Val de Peñas. Absolutely. Some good wines and some bad wines, like every area. Val de Peñas, a wine-growing area. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Jevs and uh, Lula from uh, Medina Sidonia in Cadiz. Hello, guys. Hope you're well joining this evening. Maura is in the chat as well, coming in from County Donegal there in Ireland. Hello, Maura. Hope you're well. Uh, sailing staff coming in from uh, Ecuador, thinking of moving to North Spain. Any suggestions? Which one is better, Galicia or Asturias? Don't know. Don't know. Two very uh, popular places there in the north. Uh, we'll let the community decide. Asturias or Galicia? That's the question. Uh, Dave's uh, wife passed her driving exam, so now they're mobile. Drive time. 
road trip time. Fantastic. Congratulations, uh, Zoe. Uh, Oscar is also here. Wife loves the videos, and uh, Oscar does too. From Leon, hoping to be there in August, up the mountains. Beautiful area, El Bierzo. Oscar Fernandez in Aldershot, England. El Bierzo, fantastic part of the country. Love it. Love it. Great wine as well. Uh, wines from El Bierzo. Fantastic wines. Did a video from uh, Ponferrada during COVID 2020, I think I went there. Great place. Great place. Uh, Barbara prefers below 30. Uh, keep uh, out the heat certain times of the day, especially when it's above 30, 32. Yeah, good idea to keep the heat out if you can. Not easy when it's uh, in those high 30s. Sounds like hay fever. Yeah, I think it's a little bit more than hay fever, uh, James. Uh, my hay, I did have hay fever about a month ago. Got over that. But uh, my son came home with this um, uh, lurgy, you know, and uh, passed it on to me, coughing and spluttering. What can we do? What can we do? Uh, Carrie, uh, thanks for the mention. Uh, the closest to me would have to be Benny Dawn, but no appointments until September there. Have opted for oh, that about 45 minutes away, six weeks from now. You'd probably come to Madrid, Carrie, and get it done uh, uh, on Friday. Uh, just drive up the highway, come to Madrid or Castilla-La Mancha, and I'm sure you will get in. In fact, uh, I could almost guarantee it. Did mine two weeks ago, three? Got an appointment the same week. So that could be an option. Uh, what else we got going on here, Bob? Uh, bathers uh, come off the beach covered in sand, salt. Uh, I saw this comment yesterday. Uh, leaving them soiled. Uh, and then people in clothes have to use them. Yeah, um, obviously, um, uh, Bob, I was talking about those chiringuito type places which are close to the beach. And you see a lot of people going to those. Not necessarily going into... Uh, better establishments, uh, you know, that are where other people are not wearing their bathing costumes, but the ones close to the beach, uh, I'm sure they are prepared for uh, people that are, are wet. In fact, you quite often see people sitting down uh, having something to eat or drink uh, recently out of the water. But I get your point, Bob. I get your point. Uh, what else? Let's have a look here. Alex is the person that sent me that one through today about the uh, um, uh, expropriation of lands in Granada for solar uh, farms. So I'll look into that. Thanks, Alex, for uh, sending that one through. Um, let me just see if that moved there. What else we got going on here quickly? Uh, Andrew saying that in the bar in Fuengirola, I had to go into the toilets with a shovel to get out all the sand. Absolutely. It's a problem, Andrew. Thanks for that. Sound is on. Thanks, Jonathan, for that. Uh, Jeffrey, ha everyone have a great week. Thank you for that. And uh, what else? Welsh Toddos here as well. And, uh, well, saying hello to each other. And uh, Ted asking the question, any th word or thoughts on real estate in Rota or Puerto de Santa Maria? We've got some uh, people viewing from El Puerto. Uh, Alan, for example. So I'm sure Alan would be able to fill you in on the property situation down there but I've come to the end of the chat so uh, I'm going to wrap it up I don't think my voice would last uh, much longer anyway uh, Miguel uh, is in from uh, Derbyshire here hello Miguel hope you are well and uh, Welsh Todos had an accident with a knife so um, uh, that's uh, the reason for being late washing up but anyway thanks to uh, good to see you here now, as I said, I'm going to wrap the video up. Thanks for uh, watching this evening. I'll be back again tomorrow, uh, cold permitting, of course. Um, and we'll do the same thing. We'll look at some news, we'll look at some comments, we'll look at some chat, and uh, we'll just basically uh, find out what's going on in this country. So, hasta luego, hasta entonces, adios.